Hey guys, it's Buffett here from F150 Game. I'd like to bring y'all guys the first ever episode of Dragon Ball Super Discussion. This is a new series that I'm going to do for Dragon Ball Super. It's pretty much me covering the latest episode, which was episode 123, I believe. Which was Vegeta's new transformation and all that good stuff. But before we get started, please support the channel, support the struggle. Check all my videos. I work hard. Trying to get a hundred subs, support struggle. So let's get this thing started. Well, episode 123 opened up with the typical, you know, Universe 11 kind of molly whopping Universe 7 because those guys ain't no joke. And as you can see, Jiren, this is a post after his little, you know, like stopping Vegeta's final flash and tanking it. He turns around, turns his back on Vegeta, and then he just. It's like warrior you can rest now and it's like man they really made this guy like a sentai character and it's crazy but you couldn't do nothing about it nothing at all and then the Zeno's over there acting crazy and whatnot <laughs> and then Belmont and uh, I forget the angels name from universe 11 was just saying that hey but you should be thankful that Jiren showed him the respect because, you know, Jiren doesn't really, if he calls you a warrior, then he shows you, like, great respect. So then, it's like, you just look at Jiren, it's like, does this dude have a ceiling? So Goku tries to fight. And, go, typical Goku style, he has a plan. So, so then, they're about to fight, and then it cuts off to Dispo, once again, dragging Freezer around the arena, and then he's talking about the mighty Dispo Sama, which is like Lord Dispo cannot be beat. And Freeze is over there wiping himself off. It's like, hmm. Huh. You know, you really think a pathetic like t attack could do that? And then, I mean, even the God Destruction of Universe 11 was surprised that, I mean, my boy Freeze was unscathed. And, I mean, I find it kind of weird, and I'm not going to lie, that I really thought that Freeze was kind of weaker than Dispo. But, I mean,. The next episode, which I'll talk later about, Dispo seems like he ain't no joke. These prior troopers ain't no joke. So then, Frieza tries to hit him with the multiple um, death beams, which he tried to do to Goku back on Namek, if y'all remember that. And Dispo did the same thing and dodged it, and Frieza seems kind of PO because all Dispo's been doing is running away from him. So then, it cuts off to Topo. <laughs> Boy, Topo is a... Topo is a special case with this one. I mean, once again, it shows that just because Topo isn't as strong as Jiren doesn't mean that that dude cannot be like a true, a truly grave and dangerous threat. <laughs> so then, Goku, uh, not Goku, Gohan and 17 try to attack him. It doesn't really work out because for some reason, Gohan wants to try to be Mr. Team Player, try to coordinate attacks with someone he's never worked with. 17 calls him out on that. It's like, stop trying to work with me. We never worked. We never worked together before, so why? Or never fought together, so why are you trying to coordinate your tasks with me? Let's just do this two on one, which is they have the advantage on Topo, which they can gang up on. So then 17 tries to go for Topo. You know, Topo puts him in that rear naked chokehold that he did to Goku. First of all, snapping his arm and then just holding him still and whatnot. But then. 17 with his slick thinking used the barrier to cover him and then he had Gohan fire a Kamehameha and try to get Topo off the thing and I mean can I just say that Topo's the king of Davin right now with that justice justice I mean <laughs> it's crazy oh I love Topo I mean Jesus Christ I mean my boy Phoenix underscore 23 says that <laughs> the only reason why I like Topo or why Topo is so cool is because He's me, and I was like, "Yeah, I, I ain't no self-proclaimed justice person." But before, but before Topo could get eliminated, Sef, uh, he broke out his um, 17th barrier, and Gohan's command may have missed. And once again, showing that Topo's on the, even though he ain't Jiren, he's still on God of Destruction tier. And it's like, man. Then it comes back to Goku and Jiren, and Goku's over there using the instantaneous movement of Shunkai to try to lay down all these like little mind bombs or something like that. First I just thought it was like what's he doing like laying a piece of his key so he'll be able to like Jiren will confuse Jiren but then I find out eventually they're landmines or whatnot. And so then 
And Goku's using, like I said, using his transmission to run away and whatnot. And then, out of nowhere, we see it again. Last time I think I've ever seen Goku do the um, Kienzon, because Goku fires the Kienzon at Jiren, is way back in the Boo saga when Boo was about to destroy the Earth, and then Goku came and interrupted with the Kienzon. And then, Krillin finds out, and then, like, Tobo, I mean, not Tobo, but um, Jiren tanks it like a beast. I mean, he tanks it like a beast for real. And it's like, this dude, Jiren, ain't got no ceiling. And I mean, goodness gracious, the life. And then they have this little stare off at the end, edge of the thing. And then Goku caught him off. Like, he punches. And Jiren gives him a good little punch. And then and Goku's like, Kianzon. He calls it Hex Kianzon, which is Kianzon. If you don't know, it's the Destructo did. And he cuts the damn pillar. And then Krillin shot that. That little sparring match that him and Goku did really kind of like really came in handy and whatnot so Goku copied his technique which if you watch Team 4 Star Goku's kind of known for stealing techniques but then Jiren once again like he's like it seems like Jiren's out the thing and I was like that ain't gonna stop him even Vegeta comes I was like you know an attack like that won't stop Jiren he's like yeah I know but it'll slow him down for a bit this dude's over there jumping on like these small little pebbles like with his rare energy and then Goku's landmines keep going off and this dude's walking through it like a bike Literally, if y'all could see that clip, I mean, that jump was legit. He's over there walking through, like, those things like a beast. Like, Jiren, I mean, shout out to King of Lightning, but damn, the specimen. Like, that dude is Jiren the Great. That dude cannot be beat. So, as the episode continues, um, Goku and Vegeta are about to, and then Vegeta gets back up, and then... They declare to beat Jiren, and then Goku power him and Vegeta power up the maximum, and then Goku goes Kaioken, and then Vegeta tries to break his limits, trying to go past, go beyond blue, and then he remembers Kava, saying that once again the motivation for Vegeta is to win the Super Dragon Ball, so he can wish back Universe Six, so he can go to Planet Sadala, Planet Salad, or whatever they want to call it, and then Vegeta pushes past its limits. He activates his new limit breaker form, which I'm I'm calling Super Vegeta Blue because that's what it is. It's just a bigger Vegeta, but Vegeta's pushed his blue past its limits. I could say it's pretty much on par. It's like Goku's Kaioken now. Like this is Vegeta's exclusive transformation. And then him and Goku go for the attack with Jiren. And and crazy enough it's actually working. Like I mean, Jiren's actually off balance, caught off guard. Even Piccolo stated that Jiren's like, Jiren's like really lost his, like really is off his game. And but we used to saying that, hey, but Goku and Vegeta really can't work together. They don't coordinate well together. But it's crazy that it's working on Jiren, and that's their thing. Is that I don't think Jiren can take on multiple opponents at high strength at once. I think that actually could be his weakness, but I'm not entirely sure. And. The episode ends with Vegeta and Goku once again stare, like staring off to Jiren, and then it just ends right then and there. And oh, I also forgot, Jiren, this is the first time you actually see Jiren actually try and flex his full power. It was enough to knock the blue out of Goku, which <laughs> is stupid, but that's what happened. He shocked the blue out of Goku, and this episode was really good, and I mean, it's not the it's not the most perfect especially animation wise it doesn't look the best it looks okay and I'm glad Super at least stays a little bit more consistent with the animation hope we never get episode 5 again because that was a tragedy but hopefully I'll be able hopefully the next episode will be a lot better because it's supposedly Gohan versus Dispo which I'll talk about that if, if whenever I do another video but guys this is it this is my little Dragon Ball Super discussion and hopefully you guys like this hopefully I'll be able to do this every like trying to do it every Sunday or Monday like right after the episode when we kind of cool down and stuff so I can talk to you guys leave a comment subscribe do all that good stuff and support the channel support the struggle roll to 100 thank you very much guys enjoy the rest of your day and remember Dragon Ball Super isn't going anywhere